Hello scientists, welcome to Draw Ball Mad. Today I will be drawing a neuron in Inkscape. Uh, I will be creating more of these Inkscape tutorial because uh, this is a very popular free software for scientists to use to create their graphical abstract. So yeah, make sure to subscribe and uh, give a thumbs up if you find these videos helpful. And without further ado, let's get started to draw our neuron. To draw a neuron, first we need to create the cell body. So that's uh, grab our a polygon tool and create a polygon. Um, so now this is a uh, triangle, but uh, we will need a hexagon. So uh, let's come to the control panel and increase the corners to six of the corners. Then you will get a uh, then you will get a hexagon. Okay, so this will be our neuron cell body. And now uh, let's create um, an axon. So uh, I'll be using this draw by zero curve and straight line. Uh, this tool can help us to create anchor points and uh, then uh, create paths uh, according to those anchor points. So uh, if I click on the artboard, then there will be an anchor point and I will uh, just draw a line down here. And if you want to uh, make a curve line, just uh, click on the artboard, hold it and then drag, then you'll get uh, the the visor handles on that anchor point. So then you'll get this uh, curve line. Okay, and I will Create one more anchor points here, and once you're uh, happy with the path, just press enter. Then you can uh, finish uh, making this path. And now I will make this path uh, thicker. So uh, to do that, let's come over here and click on this edit objects. Then this window will open up. Then you'll see um, here are some tabs that you can choose from and choose the stroke paint. Then you can uh, adjust the color of the stroke. And if you go to stroke style, then you can uh, adjust the width of your stroke. So uh, as the width increases, the, um, the stroke of the path uh, becomes thicker. And uh, I will switch the cap to a uh, round cap so it will look more organic. I will make this neuron green. So uh, let's come down here to pick a green color from the uh, swatches. I will get uh, a color from here and this one also over here. So as you can see, if you uh, click it uh, if you right click it and then it will go into the fill uh, that's not what we want at the moment uh, we want it to be in the um, stroke so that's uh, right click and uh, remove the fill right click on the color then you see that you can set it to stroke so then you're able to change the stroke stroke color you can also change it over here um, yeah, but uh, it is. Uh, I, I prefer to pick it from the swatch uh, from the swatches, so I have a more uh, organized color uh, palette. Now let's uh, combine these two parts. There is a function called the uh, union in the in the path uh, edit uh, panel, but uh, the problem is that now your axon is gone. Uh, the reason for that is uh, because the this path union function they unite the uh, fill of the path uh, and now uh, the fill of the path is not uh, the stroke itself so uh, now we need to make this stroke into a path and we can very quickly do that by going to the uh, path menu 
and then uh, click on this stroke to path uh, function. And you'll see that now, if you use this path editing tool, then you will see that you can, uh, there are anchor points that you can move around to change the shape. You can uh, unite them by pressing on the union and you see that now you have a cell body and the axon connected. Before we move on to uh, create the dendrites and the uh, synapses, I will first uh, round these corners around the cell body so it will also look more organic. Um, of course you can just uh, adjust the anchor points manually over here but uh, there's a quicker way to do it. Uh, we will use the stroke effect to help us to round the corners. We will use a function called the stroke uh, effect. And let's open the stroke pa uh, path effect. So we will use a function called the path effects. Oh. We will use a function in the path effects to help us to round the corners. So uh, let's go to uh, the path menu and you'll find the path effects, open it and you have the path effects uh, window on the right and uh, click on this plus sign for uh, selecting the path effects. So type in corner here, then you will see this function called corners, uh, fillet chamfer uh, and select it. And so uh, you see that as you increase the radius in this function, then uh, you will start to see a smoothening of uh, your anchor points. Let's do a little bit more like that. Okay, great. And, and now you have a more uh, organic looking um, uh, cell body. Now we can start creating the dendrites. Uh, so uh, it's basically the same steps as by first creating a path. I'll press enter here and then uh, make the path thicker. I will give it uh, like three, three, that's too thick, two and then round cap okay and then uh i'll make a few du uh, duplicates of i'll make a few copies of this uh, path by pressing command d and i'll move it uh, over here let's see uh we will start to uh, put it together to make it uh like a den like the dendrite and i will switch to uh, direct selection tool over here. Yeah, I'll speed up this process. Okay, so now the shapes of the dendrites are ready. We can um, also change them to path so we can unite uh, these uh, dendrites with the cell body. Um, let's go to the selection tool and I will just select all of them and then uh, go to the menu bar and click on stroke to path. Okay, and now they are, they are all paths. Let me check if they are converted properly. Yes, they are. Okay, um, so I'll move it over here. I will uh, unite these first and then you see that if I make them a union then the dendrite will be attached to the cell body that's uh, okay I will make this one a little bit over there okay and so I select this one and all of them then unite okay so now you, your neuron has dendrites I will make some uh, like uh, indentation uh, on a cell body. So it will look a little bit uh, more organic. I will, I will also speed up this part. Okay, so now we will create some synapses on the uh, tip of the axon. So let's uh, focus on that part. Um, so to create 
uh, the synapses, uh, we will need some triangles. Uh, we will use the polygon tool again and uh, I'll create a polygon and then decrease the corner to three and then make them smaller like that. Okay, um, so uh, I will also put a fill into this shape and we need to round these uh, corners on the triangle. Uh, we cannot do that uh, so f yet. We cannot do that yet uh, because we need to uh, make this object to path. So uh, you will have these anchor points to uh, manipulate with. So just then now you can select all the anchor points and then press on make selected nodes smooth. Okay, so now you see that uh, all the anchor points are smooth and then you can push squeeze them a little bit. So they will have this uh, triangular rounded corner shape that you usually see on uh, synapses. Okay, they're still also a little bit too big. I will make them a little bit smaller. Then you can start to uh, duplicate them by pressing Command D. Uh, I will make four of them. Okay, so I have one over here, one here, a little bit further, one closer. Okay, and I'll create a path between the synapses, uh, between the synapses and the axon. So this will be the path that will connect them. Uh, so if you want to uh, curve a straight line, just uh, hold shift and then uh, click on one anchor point, drag it, then you will have these uh, by zero handles. Okay, and that's good. And I will duplicate these two. Okay, uh, so now something is happening that uh, there's a function called cups node to cups node. Uh, this is not what we want at the moment. It will be a little bit annoying. So I will turn it off for now. So I'll go to view, uh, show height snap uh, control bar. I will turn it off. So, so I'll turn this uh, cusp to cusp node uh, function off. So it will not interfere us. Okay, and now I can move it freely. Okay, I'll connect these uh, anchor points and then I will also make them thicker. Okay, this is a good size round caps. So now we need to unite all of these shapes. I will convert all of them to path. Let's go to stroke to path. Okay, uh, I'll zoom in, start to uh, select all of these objects and then go to path menu unite union then uh, you get uh, the synapses connected to your axon so now uh, we are at the final coloring stage of creating our neuron first i will give it an outline uh, i always use gray so let's apply that and then uh, I'll make it thinner. A uh, width of 0.1 is good here. And then uh, I will apply a gradient in our neuron. So that's what uh, the that's the coloring style that you usually see in uh, the Nature Review Graphical Abstract. So let's go to our fill and control panel. Go to fill and here you can fill a, a radial gradient into your shape. We need to change the center of the gradient. Uh, so double click on uh, the shape. Then you'll see this handle over here. That is the uh, handle of the gradient. Uh, it is connected by some blue lines. So uh, this can help you to adjust the color of the gradient. Uh, so we want the uh, distal part of our neuron 
to be uh, green so we let's select the color box over here the circle one and then apply the green in there and we want the center to be white so let's select the center square and then apply white into it then we will move this entire gradient handle uh, the center of the gradient handle to the center of our cell body so now uh, you will see that uh, the gradient is uh, uh, radiating from the, the cell body okay um, I will also adjust the uh, color to the center and so I adjust the gradient handle to about this uh, the end of our uh, dendrites okay so uh, that you will have the color in there and, and now uh, the only thing that we need to add in is the uh, nucleus it is very easy to create that so let's grab our um, uh, ellipse tool eclipse tool and then uh, draw an eclipse uh, and drag it while holding control then you can have a perfect and then you can have a perfect circle I will also uh, apply a gradient into the nucleus so uh, let's go to the fill and control window and here you will uh, activate the gradient by clicking on this icon then uh, you can select the existing gradient here so you will get uh, the same gradient for your nucleus okay so yeah this is how you create a, a new round in Inkscape so I hope this can help you with your graphical abstract if you find this video helpful please give a thumbs up and subscribe to Drawbowmat for more of these tutorials and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos